Here's the final look. It actually came together in the end and I kind of love it. Surprisingly, I've never done this, so I bought a bunch of rhinestones. I'm gonna use some liquid latex. I guess I'll start over on my contour and hopefully that will stick them on. Let's do the jawline. Bloop. So I think I'm gonna do colorful around the outside and then lighter gemstones on my highlights. Connect them. I guess I'm going around my edges. We're looking cute so far. I'm trying to move quickly because I have to be at the airport in an hour. I don't know why I choose to do these things when I have places to be. And hopefully I leave time to take it off or else I'll be walking through TSA with gems on my face. I'd say it's going pretty well so far. Nose. Nice. Get the mustache. Hopefully this doesn't rip out my eyebrows later. Come back for part two, I'm gonna add the highlights. Just gonna do simple red food coloring as a lip stain. Just for you. I need to know if this works. I have a very chaotic bag of all of my food coloring. I have acquired the red food coloring. Make sure my lips are clean. I'm gonna put a couple drops just into the back of this eyelash container. Using my disposable lipstick brushes, I'm gonna dip on in. So I guess I just, as you can see, it is fully coated. Let's start applying. Definitely don't want to get out of the lines. The top. It got in my mouth! It's running a little bit, so I'm kind of concerned. Waiting for it to dry. Now we wipe. And this is the final result. It actually looks super natural. No transfer. 9 out of 10 would recommend. I'm always on your left. And right now you're getting on my last mirror. Switch. Y'all wanted to see a tutorial on how I did the doe eye. So it starts with the eyebrow. Instead of arching them like we did for the siren eye, we're going to keep it pretty natural. Using my NYX Cosmetics Stick It Stick It Gel, we're just brushing it out. Just like that. Now for eyeliner, instead of pulling it out to elongate our eye, we're going to push it up to widen our eyes. So from the waterline, we're drawing a line straight up, keeping it fairly short. Pull it back. So it's looking a little something like that. And then when I'm finishing lining my eye right above the pupil, I'm going to make it a little thicker. And that helps widen her up and round her out. Now we hit the lower lash line with a white eye pencil. And bringing that into the inner corner. Add some bronzer under that waterline. And some bronzer to the crease above. Shimmer on the lid. Curl lashes. Top and bottom mascara. And this is the final look. You can really see a difference from far away. I'm sticking marshmallows to my face. I really don't want to rip my eyebrows out, so I'm going to glue them down. Dry, dry, dry your brows, dry them to your face. Time to get down to business. I dare someone to count how many marshmallows I have on my face. Bloop. Wait, that was kind of embarrassing. Also, I have to leave my house in 30 minutes. So basically, we need to pick up the pace. Not everyone pray to Timothy Chalamet that my eyebrows don't come out. Marshmallow. Marshmallow brow. We're going for a big patch of land here. Is it just me or am I literally defying gravity right now? My friend's picking me up in 15 minutes to go to our brunch reservation. Boop. When people ask me what I do for a living, how am I supposed to tell them this? Marshmallow mustache. We're getting awfully close, you guys. I think this is the final marshmallow. <gasps> <gasps> So this is the final result, you guys. I absolutely have no idea how I'm getting this off. Boop. Boop. So basically, I did my face makeup with cookie cutters, and now we're going to blend it in. I guess let's start with a brush. And here is the reveal. It blended out really nicely and I think it looks pretty good. Maybe I could use the cookie cutters for a full makeup look. <laughs> Apparently putting your foundation in water makes it waterproof. So I have my glass of water here. I have my foundation, we're gonna put it in. 
using this little spatula to mix. Hear me out, I think it's making it waterproof because I see a layer of oil on the top. So it's separating the oil from the foundation, therefore waterproofing it. I think it's mixed up enough, so let's take it out. The first swatch. I got the rest of it on this brush and just applying on this half of the face. And she was patting it in hard, so I'm doing that. Now quickly doing the other half with the same foundation, but no water. Now let's test it to see if it transfers. As you can see, the left side does have a little bit of residue and the right side doesn't. Full face of highlighter, let's do it. So I swatched a couple and I think this is my foundation shade. So I guess we're just gonna paint that on. Blend that out. Tell me why this is like a perfect match. Our foundation is complete. Now we're gonna contour. Taking that darker shade where the contour would be. Snatch the jaw. Gotta snatch that nose up for a real one. And I'm also just gonna fill in my brows. Now some liquid highlighter as concealer. And I'm also gonna go ahead and take the pinky tone as the blush. Blend that out. I'm gonna take some powder highlighter to set it in place. And this is my full face of highlighter all completed. I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what I should try full face of next. Gluing googly eyes to my entire face. So I have various sizes, not that it matters. I think it's fitting to start with a big one right here. And yes, this is gonna be so good. Another one right there. Now we're going in for more medium sized ones. I'm a fan of this, I like what's happening here. Paint, paint, paint. This is about the time where I start to question life and all the choices that led me to this moment. Boop, boop, beep, boop. We're getting somewhere. You know what, I'm just gonna cover the eyebrow and hope that it doesn't get ripped out. Okay. We're about halfway there, so follow for part two. Covering my entire face in googly eyes, part two. So don't ask me why I decided to do this. Everyone send a prayer to the minions that my eyebrow does not fall out after this. Although I don't have the best feeling. Now I'm not gonna sit here and claim that I make the best content on the app. But you're here, aren't you? And hopefully somewhat entertained. And also just keep in mind that I am sacrificing every pore on my face for this video. And if you listen closely, you can hear them screaming. Filling in all those crevices. The nose. Reveal in three, two, one. This is our final look, you guys. Maybe I should go surprise my friends like this. Take off my makeup with me, googly eyes edition. I guess you could say all eyes are on me. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, my eyebrow. And the contacts are stuck. So just know when I'm going out, I'm either going to show up a zero or a 100. There's no in between, and that's all I can do. So just know it's going to be a hit or it's going to be a miss. But when I hit, girl, when I hit, y'all better be ready. She, she put the makeup on the plastic wrap. And it looks good. So basically, uh, yeah. I poked out some nose holes so I don't suffocate. Now I'm gonna do the makeup on this side to line it up. Get the contour. Now we need some blush, some lipstick. Now let's remove it. Let's do it. Pat it in place.
and let's blend it. Get the forehead. Now let's see what we can do here. So don't ask me how, but by some miracle, it doesn't look that bad. Kind of good, honestly. Ah, sorry, did I scare you? Why do I feel better about myself when I have contacts like this in? You guys like to see me take them out, though, so I, I guess we're going to do that. Oh, gosh. Nope. Take two. We'll try this one. Oh, there we go. Wow. Okay, that, that one was simple. Which side do you like better? Okay, let's try this again. Oh my gosh, it's stuck. Jesus. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Take off my makeup with me. So I have these fake little nails on, but they were too big, so I had to shove stuff in the back. So let's get these off. Wig snatched. Let's see if I can. Oh, wow. And number two. Wow. This literally took so long, and I've had it on for like five seconds. Taking some cleansing balm. I'm just gonna rub that in. Get the other side, the nose. Oh wow. Get the neck. Now let's wipe. Look at those eyebrows. I'm gonna go shower. This is why you should never look through a keyhole. A middle-aged man decides to spend the night at a hotel. He checks in at the front desk where the attendant gives him the key to his room. Before he can make his way up towards his room, the attendant stops him quickly. She informs him that on the way to his room, there's a room with no number on the door. This door remains locked as no one is allowed inside. The man is curious at the time, but decides to listen to the attendant. He makes his way off to his room where he lets both himself and his curiosity rest for the night. At the end of the following day, he finds his curiosity getting the best of him. He can't get his mind off the locked door in the room that stands behind it. He makes his way down the hall and stands before the door, overwhelmed by the sight of it. He tries the handle, but it won't budge. After a few seconds, he decides to peek through the keyhole. Immediately, a burst of cold air brushes over his eye. Nevertheless, he can see through the keyhole and into the hidden away bedroom. Facing away from the door, there stands a ghostly woman leaning her head against the wall. After staring through the keyhole at the woman with pale skin for a few more seconds, the man leans away and considers knocking on the door. He comes to the conclusion that that might not be the best idea and returns to his room. The following day, the man can't seem to stop thinking about the pale woman who has been locked away in that room. He returns to the door and peeks through the keyhole once again. He can't see the room anymore. All he can see is red, as if something is covering the keyhole. He decides to return to the front desk, curious on whether the staff has found out about him peeking in through the keyhole and decided to block it with something red. He talks to the front desk attendant, who simply asks if the man had peeked in through the keyhole. The man confirms in the attendant's size, preparing to come clean. She reveals that a long time ago, a woman was murdered by her husband in that room. They blocked it off soon after, when they kept getting reports of strange occurrences. Eventually, they were made aware of a spirit with pale skin living in that room who noticeably had red eyes. She was staring back at him through the keyhole. This is why you should politely decline if a governess invites you to her mansion. There once was a small abandoned village in Transylvania. In this village, there lived a young countess. She was the beautiful queen of vampires. She wanted nothing more than to suppress her hunger, but she simply could not. She spent her days laying out tarot cards for herself, praying that she would find some hope in her future. But they always read the same thing. In her dark and gothic mansion, she was tended to by an old mute governess. Though the Countess was inhumanly beautiful, she had never found love, as her bloodthirsty appetite always got in her way. Whenever a young traveler appeared in the abandoned village, the governess would invite them up to her mansion. The travelers would enter the mansion, and they would never leave. That is, until a young soldier came across the village, amused by the thought of a land inhabited by vampires. That evening, when the Countess laid her tarot cards out in front of her, she found that love was in her future. The governess invites the soldier up to the gothic mansion, and as he approaches the large estate, he is overcome by the scent of roses. Though he's frightened by the sight of the mansion at first, he continues inside to see what is in store. Feeling vulnerable and frightened, the governess leads him to meet the mansion's wealthy owner. This is where he meets the countess, overtaken by her incredible beauty. After seeing his face, the countess screeches and the governess puts a pair of dark glasses on her to shield her eyes. The countess expresses just how lonely she's been in her chateau with only the governess for company. She begins to think to herself that this soldier could be her long-awaited groom, but she also finds herself wishing to feast on his blood. She leads him to her bedroom where she typically feasts on her prey. 
She can't seem to do it, bursting into tears as they approach the bed. She drops her glasses and they break, resulting in her cutting her finger with one small shard of glass. The soldier kisses her bloody finger. Following morning, he finds her dead at her table, slumped over her tarot cards. This is why you should always listen to your children. During a dark night in 1972, the two young McDaniel children sit in their house based in Enfield, Illinois. There, they claim to see a strange creature lurking throughout the yard and attempting to enter the house. Their father chalks it all up to their imagination, though the story made him uncomfortable. Still suspicious, Mr. McDaniels finds himself awoken by the sound of something scratching the outside of their house. Armed with a gun and a flashlight, he makes his way to the front door and peers out. He can't seem to see anything until his gaze catches something strange in between the two rose bushes. By these bushes, there stands a creature that is almost human. The creature had three legs, a short body, two short arms, alongside two very pink eyes that are the size of flashlights. He raises his gun and gets ready to fire. Quickly, McDaniel fires his gun four times, aimed at the horrifying figure. He strikes the creature once, which causes it to hiss like a wildcat. It continues fleeing, making its way towards a railway embankment. McDaniel watches in shock as the beast leaps three times, making it 80 feet in those few jumps. Following day, the police are able to find scratches on their door screen and strange six-footed paw prints near the McDaniel's house. Though the story of this creature made it into local newspaper, not many people believe that the sighting was actually real. McDaniel reported two more sightings of this creature, though no one believed him. McDaniel was even threatened with jail time because of these reports. Though he stopped reporting these sightings, he remained adamant in seeing the beast. He believed it was extraterrestrial and there were more hiding nearby. To this day, there has been no explanation to this sighting. I'm going to be doing a Halloween look inspired by this emoji. When I think of bats, I think of like oranges and purple. So I'm just throwing an orange base on there, grabbing some orange shadow. Pack, pack, pack. Like, just look at the difference. Adding a deeper orange for a bit of dimension. No, because why is orange eyeshadow so slept on? Like, this looks amazing. I made my eyebrows dark and archier. Purple waterline. Bat wing. Cool. I want purple right here. Drawing some bats with some eyeliner. Now just filling those in. Adding dots. Lips. And this is my bat dress. I have my little wings. And here's the final look. Let me know what look to do next. I literally look like a bug that just got hit with a flash water, but I'm going to be wiping on my makeup. Well, I'm not actually wiping on makeup. I wiped off my makeup and put it in reverse. But if I could wipe on makeup like this, I'd be a pretty nifty skill. But anyways, I'm throwing this bad boy in reverse because y'all said the girls would give me 100,000 likes if I did it. So here it is, TikTok. Please put me on the For You page. Like, come on. Please. I'm begging you. I just turned myself into a vampire queen, and I'm gonna go get my friend's reaction. Hopefully I don't walk past anyone in the hallway, or I'm literally gonna give them nightmares. Going up the elevator. Please don't stop, please don't stop, please don't stop. This lighting though, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Imagine I knocked on the wrong door. One more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no. Go. Turn. Get the fuck out of bed. Just kidding, baby. Come here. I'll let you suck my blood any day. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. That actually scared me. I didn't think you were going to do that. I didn't think you were going to do that. Take off my makeup with me. I've genuinely had this on for less than 60 seconds. But like I finished my TikToks. I took a photo. What else do you need? Once again, this cloak is my pride and joy. Let's start around the eyes. Hi, how are you? This is gonna stain my towel really bad. Mm hmm. Well, that looks like it's everything. Psych! That actually came off really well. Let's pop these poppies out. Oh, or not. There we are. And over there. Yep. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I literally look like a bug that just got hit with a flash water, but I'm gonna be wiping on my makeup. Well, I'm not actually wiping on makeup. I wiped off my makeup and put it in reverse, but if I could wipe on makeup like this, I'd be a pretty nifty skill. But anyways, I'm throwing this bad boy in reverse because y'all said the girls would give me 100,000 likes if I did it. So here it is, TikTok. Please put me on the For You page. Like, come on. Please. I'm begging you. I'm going to do some easy skeleton makeup for you guys for Halloween. First, I'm just going to map out the smile with some eyeliner. Now I'm going to make the teeth with some white face paint, but you can use eyeliner or eyeshadow too. So I'm just doing that and then pulling it down. So you want to make sure they're perfectly over top of each other and the bottom is pointing down and the top is pointing up. 
You can do as many teeth as you want and make them as big or small as you want. Using some black eyeshadow, we're gonna shade in between the teeth. And I like to extend the line past the teeth. Going back in with the eyeliner in between. Now just taking some black shadow to outline the cheekbone. And then just shade that in. Eyeliner for the nose. And I'm just gonna do a black smoky eye. Some glitter. Take off my makeup with me. Snow White edition. My little bow. Snatch. Grab that. Ooh. Let's give her a good little wipe. This took me so freaking long. Now the fun part. I have a premiere to go to in 20 minutes that I'm not ready for. It's up my nose. I should have just went like this. Why does my eyebrow always stay so crusty? I'm gonna go wash my face. Fake nails to vampire teeth. File the nail. Dentures? I'm gonna test this out. I just got these at my local drugstore. They look like a good teeth color. Pull these out. I also have a ton of nail care stuff. I'm gonna clip it a little first. Now we're gonna give it a little shaping. It actually filed very easily. Now here's my denture glue, something I never thought I'd be saying. Put a little dot on the back. And here's the moment of truth. It literally looks so good. And feels very solid. I give this hack a 10 out of 10. You guys definitely need to try it. Vampire makeup, I got you. First things first, we're gonna do a smoky eye. I want black on the lid, and then I'm gonna smoke it out with some red. Now channeling our inner Salvatore, we're gonna make veins underneath the eyes. Just like that. And now to make them look like they're beneath the surface, we tap translucent powder over top. And here's a hack. If you're like, oh my God, I cover them up too much. Take setting spray, spray her back on, and they'll be more vibrant. Now I'm gonna repeat the same process with some other colors. I'm a big fan of how the veins look, so I usually do a lot. Vampires have strong cheekbones, so I just chiseled out with some bronzer. Pulling some of that red shadow down. Red on the lips. Blend them out. Black eyeshadow in the middle. Gloss. Then you just add all your props. And blood, but I'm not gonna do that because TikTok will take it down. DIY fake blood. So she has some clear lip gloss and red lipstick, and she mixes them together, and that's it. We're gonna try it out and I'm gonna let you guys know if it works. Clear gloss, squirt. I'm gonna use a brighter red and a darker red and mix them. Just apply that, some dark, combine. I'm pretty happy with that color. Test it on the hand. Okay, that actually looks really good. I'm gonna put some here, cause why not? I think it turned out great and plus the products are stuff that most everybody already owns. So I give this hack a nine out of 10. If you ever use black eyeshadow but have trouble getting it pigmented, I have a tip for you. This is what it looks like before the hack. You want to start with a gel black eyeliner as basically a primer. Apply that to the lid or the area that's going to be black. Once that's laid down, take your black eyeshadow and pat that over top. Like, are you literally kidding me? And here's the final look. So pigmented. Take off my makeup with me. Pumpkin edition. Let's start with the eyes. Eyebrow. This towel literally takes it off so easily, you guys. This is my limited edition Halloween makeup eraser. You guys know I use these towels in all of my take off my makeup videos. There's only a limited quantity available, so get yours before they're gone. And just look at that. All you have to do is wet them with a little bit of water and then just wipe it off. They're also very much reusable. You just throw them in the washer or just hand rinse them with water. Link is in my bio if you want to grab one. I'm going to be taking off my makeup using whipped cream. I did the zombie look using a full face of NYX Cosmetics. Every product that I used is shoppable through walmart.com and the link on my TikTok profile. Just hit the shopping bag icon and all the products will be there. And now for the whipped cream. If you guys are wondering, wow, Sid, why are you taking off your makeup with whipped cream? During the live, you guys picked dares for the loser to do. And unfortunately, I had to spin the wheel and this is what I got to do. Yummy. Let's get some straight from the bottle. Oh, right there. This feels wrong. But does whipped cream work as a cleanser? Get the neck. Tell me why that's kind of working. Whipped cream is not a good cleanser, but NYX Cosmetics is a good makeup line. So go check them out. Take off my makeup with me. I love how this one turned out and it high key makes me want to dye my hair red. 
Snatch! Let's get these bad boys. Oh. Get the lashes. Now this should be fun. Oh, girl, she's not budging. <gasps> oh! No way, it stayed in one piece. The neck is always the most painful. <gasps> Ow. Selling this on my Etsy. Get the pearls. Why does it look like that? The other side. Going in with some Neutrogena makeup wipes. And we just hope for the best. I don't know if my eyebrows are ever coming back. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna be doing 100 layers of concealer. Layer one. Layer two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and finally, we got layer 10. 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's keep going. 35, 40. I just finished off this concealer. Trash. 50, 60 layers, 70 layers, 80, 90, 95. 100 layers of concealer. This feels disgusting. I don't know how I'm getting all this off. I literally look like a bug that just got hit with a flash water, but I'm gonna be wiping on my makeup. Well, I'm not actually wiping on makeup. I wiped off my makeup and put it in reverse, but if I could wipe on makeup like this, I'd be a pretty nifty skill. But anyways, I'm throwing this bad boy in reverse because y'all said that girls would give me 100,000 likes if I did it. So here it is, TikTok. Please put me on the For You page. Like, come on, please. I'm begging you. Butterfly, butterfly. I don't know why this is a trend, but I want a view. Butter, butter, fly, fly, butter, fly, butterfly. Butter, butter, fly, butter, butter, fly, butterfly. It's that easy, guys. If the men find out we can shape shift, they're going to tell the truth. Y'all probably already saw that video, but we're going to be trying that. I'm going to start off by drawing our little pinwheel design. Nice. Starting to fill that in with my little contour color. Now let's do some concealer. I'm going to fill in this square. I think I'm done with the concealer, so now I'm going to add some foundation. Definitely right here. We are good with our foundation. Now for some blush. Right on the cheekbone. Lighter blush. Finish it off up here. Now who wants to see me blend it? I literally look like a bug that just got hit with a flash water, but I'm gonna be wiping on my makeup. Well, I'm not actually wiping on makeup. I wiped off my makeup and put it in reverse, but if I could wipe on makeup like this, I'd be a pretty nifty skill. But anyways, I'm throwing this bad boy in reverse because y'all said that girls would give me 100,000 likes if I did it. So here it is, TikTok. Please put me on the For You page. Like, come on. Please. I'm begging. Okay guys, now we're gonna do a makeup transition. Let's wipe this off. I'm thinking like sunset vibe. Bit of orange. It's giving candy corn. I did just try to add pink, but unfortunately there was already purple on the brush. It's even worse over here. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. It looks like I got punched. PEMDAS, orange will cancel it out. Just going to face paint my heart out. Paint over that. One and a two. If you use your imagination, it's kind of looking like a seahorse. Can I recreate it on the other side? Let's see. That went better than expected. I'm gonna add some white for some extra spice. Look how much a little pop of white brought her to life. Add it to the eyes, the lips. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's change the lights in the background. Let's finish the transition. Oh, cause I don't be for free. Not to rag, but this might be the smartest thing I've ever came up with. Just line my lips. Transfer proof lip liner. I bought the product and we're gonna try it. So this is supposed to be a peel-off brow tint. 
and it is from Maybelline. So let's just open it up and apply it to the lip. The bottom is done. I tried to make it perfect and I'm really hoping this turns out. It says let dry for 20 minutes. I think we can speed it up. I'm using the shade light brown by the way. It's been 20 minutes, let's peel it off. Gotta get the end started. I'm scared. Wow. And the top. Oh no. I'm gonna give her a little wipe and it doesn't come off. Throw some gloss on. My shade was a little too dark, but I think this is a great idea. Eight out of 10 would recommend. I'm gonna be attempting 100 layers of eyelashes. Layer one. Layer 10. Layer 20. This is only 30 layers. Where am I gonna put the next 70? Only 40 layers. This isn't even half. 50 layers? We're officially halfway there. 60 layers. 70 layers, and my eyebrows are officially gone. 80 layers, this is all we got left. 90 layers? We're so close. It's itching and burning and I can't see. It's so thick. This is what 100 layers of eyelashes looks like. Taking this off is not gonna feel good. The brow wax is strong enough to hold and support the weight of the false lash. Place the lash right where the metal meets the rubber. The smallest amount of boo. Just kiss the lash. Give it a good little crimp. I need to know if this works. First step is to curl the lashes. Curl. Now taking some eyebrow wax, put that on the curler. Now eyelash glue on spoolie. And like you said, we're just going to kiss the lash. Now I put my lash on the curler. And now we crimp. It did not line up or stick as flawlessly as I hoped. Let me try again. Okay, perfectly placed. Now we crimp. Oh, that one definitely worked a little better. I would say I added more glue that time and crimped it really good. I think the hack is a little bit harder than applying them normally, but it did work. It just takes practice. 7 out of 10. Boop! Boop! I just contoured my face with Christmas cookie cutters. And now, we're gonna blend it. Guess I'll start right there. <gasps> Goodbye, Christmas trees little star this is so satisfying get the lips cheek blend that out concealer get the nose and finally the forehead and here is the final result this turned out better than I expected I have my spatula, let's do it. Putting foundation on my palette. Ooh, dip this side in with a really thin coat. Okay, this might take a couple tries. Yeah, so that's on me. Maybe more like sideways? No. Okay, that worked. I think just like perfectly straight. Okay, there we go. We have our first layer down. Try that side again. Second layer. Forehead should be fun. Gently buff that out. So I'm only blending around the edges. Stop, because why does it look so good? No, because I'm in shock right now. I'm going to be doing an express haul. I ordered a lot of stuff on Black Friday. Now, I know these don't go together, but this top is so cute i really like the shape of it now before you come for me yes it is a turtleneck but i feel like a woman in a turtleneck is just so powerful just something about it also the pants are cute no you're kidding me this bodysuit makes me want to leave the house and that means a lot coming from me also the little asymmetrical skirt moment so cute i also got it in pink because when you know you know oh wow i love this the shoulders and the slit Yellow top for layering purposes. I bought two brown ones by accident. And finally, our last bodysuit. I'm gonna be doing a Christmas face mask. Let's do it. She's foaming. Turn it on. I'm not gonna lie, it does look like a swamp. I'm gonna add some sprinkles to the mold. Turn it off. Now let's dump it in. 
It kind of looks like sprinkly boogers. Let it sit and then we're gonna try it. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's so slimy. I'm gonna be making a candy cane face mask. Let's do it. Perfect. Fill that up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Snatch a couple of these. Now we put them in this bag. Now smash them. That worked better than expected. Now we dump the water in. Add the secret sauce. Peptide. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit in the mold. Now we dump that in. Cat in a box. Now we let it sit and then we're gonna try it. Hopefully this doesn't burn. Oh no. Oh no, it's going in my eyes. So I saw this picture and I'm gonna be trying to recreate that, but with wrapping paper. Okay, so I have my pieces and now we're gonna burn them. I have water next to me in case this goes wrong. It looks so good. I have all of my pieces done, now I'm gonna start sticking these in my face. Now I'm just taking liquid latex on the back of the pieces, and now I'm just sticking that on. Now I'm just doing the exact same thing with the rest of the pieces. I have all my pieces on, now I'm gonna shade with some different tones of brown to make it look like it's burning from my skin. I'm gonna go do eyes and lips. Oh wow. I think it turned out really good. Let me know what you guys think. Take off my makeup with me. Just ignore this. Bow, contacts, perfect. Let's try. Oh. Peel the latex off. Weird. Can we get the forehead? Ooh. I can tell this one's gonna hurt. Ah! Some latex left. The most painful for last. Oh my god, that looks crazy. Lips, wipe, forgot a piece. Thanks for watching. I literally look like a bug that just got hit with a flash water, but I'm gonna be wiping on my makeup. Well, I'm not actually wiping on makeup. I wiped off my makeup and put it in reverse, but if I could wipe on makeup like this, that'd be a pretty nifty skill. But anyways, I'm throwing this bad boy in reverse because y'all said that girls would give me 100,000 likes if I did it. So here it is, TikTok. Please put me on the for you. <gasps> my phone's on 5%, so we have to do this fast. Yes, I did turn myself into a Christmas tree. And what about it? Take off our decorations like normal humans because we don't leave them up until March. Now this is probably gonna- Oh, wow. Girl, oh my god. Okay, this one. Oh, no. Oh, perfect. This is cemented to my face. <gasps> I literally got a free face wax. I can't tackle these right now. We have to wait. The neck is gonna- Oh, wait. Maybe it all hurts. Pretty sure I have hair stuck in this one. Oh, yeah, I definitely do. Look at my hair. That's bad. Okay, I can do this. Ah, one, two, three! Okay, yeah, that was all. Bye. St. Bernard sits at the top. Okay, I've seen a lot of people recently doing phobias inspired by makeup, so I'm gonna be doing Fear of Spiders. This is my sketch. I don't think I have a fear of spiders, but like, I don't really wanna see one by choice. Would I probably prefer if there was a big and beefy man around to like, handle it for me because I'm just so itty bitty and petite, you know? Yeah, I would. Last night, I had a really weird experience with an insect. It was probably like 3 a.m., right? But I had a Squishmallow. I'm looking at it, and I think that I see something crawling up the Squishmallow. And it was late, so I was like, I'm probably just imagining things. I turn on my phone light, and there is a ladybug crawling on this Squishmallow. It's like below zero right now. Like, we haven't opened any windows or anything. I have no idea how it got into my room. Aren't ladybugs a sign of, like good luck or something if you guys know what that means let me know contacts sick let's finish the transition the i have an appointment that i have to drive to and be out within 10 minutes but here we are let's take this off i'm gonna attempt to get this wow can we go two for two try two. Oh, there we go and now all that hard work that i left on for five minutes can disappear but i really liked how it looked and i got a lot of photos 
I just started this series doing makeup based on popular fears or phobias and this was my first one and it was obviously spiders but I'm excited about the series and I'm gonna keep doing more so if you have any suggestions or ideas for fears that I should do makeup looks based on leave it in the comments down below and I'll be reading through them well I need to go wash my face I gotta leave Take off my makeup with me. Snow Miser Heat Miser Edition. Snatch up these lashes that I painted myself. Pull these puppies out. Oh. Last two contacts. I've been waiting to do this. Ah! What a piece of art. Ah! It has a baby! Ah! It's coming, it's coming. Ow, ow! <coughs> Is my eyebrow still there? Cute. Give her a spray. I'm melting. It's going in my eye. That almost didn't work at all. I'm gonna go shower. Let's do some hair care. So I haven't washed my hair in literally like a week. So I'm gonna start by using this bamboo brush. It needs cleaned, by the way, and just brushing all of my hair. It increases blood circulation to the scalp, which then can promote hair growth. It also doesn't leave static like plastic brushes. So it just gets your hair really sleek and really smooth. Now I'm gonna oil my scalp. So this bottle here is my applicator, but it's a mixture in there of grapeseed oil, rosemary oil, and a little bit of argan oil. When you're using rosemary oil, you need to mix it with a carrier oil. But like I said, my carrier oil right now is grapeseed oil, and why I'm using that is because it's a lighter oil. As opposed to oils like castor oil or coconut oil, which are heavier oil. I actually got this rosemary oil from a farm that's near me, so it's 100% organic and locally grown, which I love. And then I'm just twisting that down my mids and ends as well. Then using my little scalp massager i'm just gonna massage that in if you don't own one of these i highly recommend it it feels really good improved circulation literally like five bucks on amazon and i'm just gonna toss that into a loose braid until i decide to wash it out later tonight i also just spent my life savings on a dyson arab so if you guys want to see a video of me attempting to style my hair with this let me know see you next time this is 100 layers of eyelashes and i'm gonna be attempting to take them off they're so thick. I don't know how this is going to work. I guess let's just... Oh my god, wait. That hurts really bad. One out of 200. Oh my god. Let's try over here. Yummy. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely tearing out my eyebrows. Nice. The eyelid is where it's going to hurt. Lash remover. We're going to need this. Oh, it's burning. Oh! You're following flashes. My eyes hurt so bad. Thanks for watching. I look like Patricia McDonald. Take off my makeup with me. I have an appointment at the animal shelter, and I have to be there in literally five. If I go like this, do you think they would let me take home a cat? They probably would think that I was going to force the cat to have an excruciating life in the circus and train him to jump through hoops and stuff with little to no compensation. Or they would just call the cops and then put up a most wanted sign in front of the shelter. Regardless, I'm not really trying to find out. So today I decided to cosplay as your ex. And no, that was not your sign to text him. Aren't these contacts sick? They're like clocks. Really small clocks. Speaking of clocks, do you know what time it is? It's time for you to stop scrolling on TikTok and get out of bed and maybe, I don't know, clean your room. Do the dishes. Do that homework you've been putting off. I'm just trying to keep you thriving, queen. So you won't end up like this. Bye, I'm going to the shelter. Comment if you think I should get a cat. I literally look like a bug that just got hit with a flash water, but I'm gonna be wiping on my makeup. Well, I'm not actually wiping on makeup. I wiped off my makeup and put it in reverse, but if I could wipe on makeup like this, that'd be a pretty nifty skill. But anyways, I'm throwing this bad boy in reverse because y'all said that girls would give me 100,000 likes if I did. Take off my makeup with me. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Let's get this wig if we can, ow. Cute. Oh. Please don't tear off my eyebrow. Now let's get rid of that skin. And now we wipe. I can't get it off. That's the best I can do. I'm gonna go shower now. Hi queens, today on Friend Recreates My Makeup, Wendy's gonna be doing this red editorial look that I did the other day.
Starting off strong with some super harsh contour, and then she's dipping into the blue shadow. What's going on here? And then I see the crystals. I start to piece it together. She put her own twist on it and did it, but in blue. I love it. Take off my makeup with me. So I told you guys last time I did this, I had to go to the shelter like 10 minutes after, and I was considering getting a cat. Well, here she is. I got one. Oh my goodness, I need name suggestions. And if you didn't already watch the video that this was from, you need to. I spit water at my phone as the transition and made a huge mess. But the result, chef's kiss. Ow. I used liquid latex for this moss? And you guys are gonna kill me because I always do makeup when I'm supposed to go somewhere, but I was supposed to leave for a hike with my friends 10 minutes ago. Ah! The cats made a hole in my backdrop and now they're playing through it. And it's one of the most popular hiking trails in LA, so I feel like it would be funny if I showed up like this. You know, pop out, scare some girlies into running a little quicker on their hike. Could be good for them. I'm meeting up with Carter and Scott to hike. The holographic gloss on the lips, I feel like really brought it together. Thanks for watching. Just one thing we that Oh my god, guys, I thought that would be a cool transition, but I think I just made a mess. There's literally water all over my phone. Oh my! Do you guys want to see my mirror? Look at her! I'm going to be doing Fear of the Ocean. That's why I thought spitting water on my phone would be a good idea. Also, when I was jittering at the beginning, could just go with it's because I'm a talented actor, but actually, I drank so much coffee this morning that I think I'm going to have a heart attack. Make myself pale to start out with because if we were underwater, girl, we were not getting that vitamin D from the sun. I've also not painted over my collarbones since I got surgery because I didn't want to like get stuff in the scar. Do I have a fear of the sea? I would say no, but I definitely don't trust it. Like, what's, what's the percentage of the sea that we haven't explored? Is it like 90% or something like that? There's definitely some stuff down there that I, I don't think I want to know about, to be honest. Also, I'm going to Hawaii in like two weeks for my birthday. I'm going to be 21. And one of the activities we were considering doing is swimming with sharks. I think it would be in a cage. But girl, I have seen 47 meters down. So honestly, I know better. I think I should turn myself into a shark and do fear of sharks. Let me know. We look like we're... All shriveled up in the ocean, you know, just floating down the stream. I look like a drowned zombie from Minecraft. Splatter paint. Ah! I think it's in my eye. I'm gonna add a little moss so it looks like, you know, I've been sitting there a while. I'm growing stuff. All I need now are the contacts and I'm gonna wet my hair. Let's complete the transition. Take off my makeup with me. These contacts are crazy. Let's get them out. Ooh! Number two. Wow. Now I'm gonna just grab my towel and start wiping. It's gonna be so satisfying. Start rubbing her off. Get the other side. No, I just have funky eyebrows. Goodbye, little snowflake. Goodbye, funky eyebrow number two. Ah, this is literally just water, you guys. It's coming off so easily. Wipe that one off. Wow, I look very ill. I'm gonna go shower. St. Bernard sits at the top. Okay, guys, today we're going to be doing fear of death. Cats, you're out of here. Would I say I have a fear of death? Like, not really. Obviously, I hope it doesn't happen soon. And I'm going to, like, be careful, right? I don't see the point in overthinking it or worrying about it when that's not going to change the fact. Like, it happens to everyone. It's going to happen to you. Nothing better to represent death than a skull. You basically have a stencil already on your face like i'm just tracing where i feel the bone thinking about death just also makes me think about life and what's the purpose in the first place is it to be happy because i feel like that's unrealistic is it to experience as much as possible is it to make a change i i do think about that sometimes and it makes me spiral can't decide if i want to do my neck or not i don't know if i feel like it this is going to be tedious but i have to do the teeth 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 i'm drawing the teeth your whole nose would just be a black hole because it's all cartilage. Don't even get me started on that. If your nose is cartilage, how does it break? If there's no bone there, how does it break? Be so for real. That doesn't add up. We hollow out the cheeks because we want to be snatched like Bella Hadid. Would you guys watch if I like painted or did drawing content? Because I'd really like to, but I don't know if y'all are into that, if you only like me for my makeup. So comment and let me know. I'm actually taking new headshots tomorrow, so I'm probably going to change my profile picture to one of those. I need an update one because i kind of look like i was 12 years old in that photo and my hair was to like here and that was only like a year ago if you want the hair care routine let me know i do need to do my neck like a little bit since my hand is in the transition i gave that a little skeleton-ness too lights and contacts and all that fun stuff i'll be back 
Let's complete the transition. Take off my makeup with me. We're gonna do something different. I'm gonna take you guys to the bathroom. Not like that. That sounded weird. Look how sweet these little cats are. They were watching me do makeup. We made it. So, um, ig ignore my pajama pants. You can't see those in the video. All right, time to take off the cloak. Bold. I just spent 400 bucks at Sephora on pharmacy products. So we're gonna start with our cleansing balm. I'm gonna try to wash this hand. So I'm just taking some of that and rubbing it into the makeup. Can't forget about the neck. Now we rinse. Now using my towel here, I'm gonna try to wipe off all the paint that I didn't get. Now I need to take out these alien contacts. Fan number two. They really burn after a while. This is my heavy duty cleanser when I can't get paint off. Brand new. Dry it off again. Moisturize so my skin doesn't hate me. More than it already does. That is the best we can do. See you next time. Hi queens, get ready with me to take new headshots. Just primed her up with some Tatcha. Also, I misplaced my little hair clippy things, so I'm using a weird headband. Just ignore it. So basically, I'm going to retake my profile picture, which is in front of that yellow backdrop. I only took that photo a year ago, but I feel like I look decently different now. Specifically my hair. I literally have a bob in my profile photo. Speaking of hair, if you're interested, I just put up a YouTube video where I cut my hair and made makeup brushes out of it and did my makeup with it. Y'all always come for me about my time management, but I literally have to leave in 30 minutes. Didn't finish my makeup, didn't do my hair. I have to bring like six outfits that I didn't even think about yet. I don't know why this always happens. The profile photo that I have now, I originally took it as an acting headshot. So I had like no makeup on in it. This time I'm specifically taking it as a profile photo. So I'm obviously going to wear makeup. I just did these eyes so unbelievably fast. Not doing the lips yet. Quickly got to do my hair. All right, this is the hair all done. Lipstick. I need to go change. I'm gonna have to put outfits and behind the scenes from the shoot in a different video. Hi queens, I'm getting ready to go collab with my friend Carter. Do you guys like my Juicy Couture tracksuit? It's giving very much early 2000s. I'm just doing very light everyday glam moment. I'm doing this super quick because I was supposed to be there nine minutes ago, but I have a good excuse. I had a busy morning. I just got styled because I'm going to the world premiere tomorrow of the Teen Wolf movie. And I picked out such an iconic dress and I'm gonna have to do my own glam tomorrow as well. Oh, and I got my headshots back, the one that was gonna be my profile photo. So this is what my photo is now. And here's one that I took the other day. I didn't fully look through them yet, but I just picked one that looked similar. I'll probably do a separate video showing you guys a couple options so you can pick which one should be my profile photo. For my collab with Carter, it's gonna be a YouTube video and I'm turning him into a squishmallow using makeup. Also super random, did you guys listen to Flowers by Miley Cyrus? I literally had to turn it off because if I let it loop one more time, I was gonna act up. That song has such a chokehold on me. It made me feel too powerful. And I don't usually keep up with celebrity drama, but all the tea behind that song, it just, it's funny. It makes me laugh. Decided I want to wing with this. The applicator on this NYX Vivid Matte, and this is fairly new, it's so good. I know they say sisters, not twins with the eyeliner, but girl, I don't even think these two are related. Mascara will hide all our secrets. This mascara is super clumpy, but I actually like it because I feel like it kind of looks like I have anime eyes. Trying to fix my hair a little bit. And here is the look. See you tomorrow. Hi, queens. I just woke up and I have a meeting in a half an hour. So we're going to get ready. Contacts. Now I'm going to wash my face. The collab I did with Carter yesterday went really well. And that's going to be out on both of our channels next week. I want to film another phobia makeup so bad, but I've just been so busy. I don't have time. I have this call pretty soon. And then I have the Teen Wolf premiere that I have to get ready for after that. Tomorrow, I also have a collab and an event, and I have a camera crew coming to follow me around tomorrow and the next day, so I have to clean my entire house. And then the day after that, my sister gets in town, and then my grandparents get in town, and then it's my birthday, and I have a birthday party in LA, and then the day after, I leave for Hawaii, and then I get back from Hawaii, and three days later, I leave for New York because it's fashion week. So between all the events and stuff, I'm really trying to get as much content as I can. Snail. All good things happening, it's just a lot. See you later. Hi, queen. So I told y'all the other day I was going to get headshots taken that were going to be my profile picture. And I need your help, so let's go through them and pick. So just to remind you, this is what it looks like right now. None of these are retouched, so the background's going to be the same color yellow. And I took these wearing the same shirt, same place, backdrop, everything. Take a look. Let me know what stands out. We got some smiley ones if we don't want to keep the same kissy face. A mixture here. Let's do a speed round of ones that I think are cute. Two. Three. I think this one's pretty close. Four, if we want to go looking off camera, if we want a little different expression, 
a little smiley girly. I don't think I would want to change to orange, but here's some other ones I took. Cute. This isn't a profile picture, I just wanted to show you guys. Comment, let me know which one you like. Hi queens, get on ready with me from my birthday party. I already tore the extensions out of my hair and obviously changed. This is what I was wearing for reference. All right, let's tear these lashes off. The remnants. Oh, that felt so weird. We love a good cleansing balm. Just melt all of my problems away. The weather was actually so beautiful and so sunny, but I did end up sweating a ton, so I'm very excited to get this off my face. Cleanser. Now I'm gonna wipe a little to see if we succeeded in getting all the makeup off. Uh, no. More cleanser. It's always the answer. Rub that bad boy into the skin. Here's the fit check. Now I'm just throwing on a bunch of moisturizer to revive my skin. And now I gotta go pack for Hawaii because I leave in a couple hours. Hi queens, I told my sister I was gonna meet her at the gym in 10 minutes. So let's take this off. These puppies are burning so bad. Oh, oh wow. I think this turned out pretty cool. And actually this is the third time I've attempted to finish this look. Yesterday I did like 25% of it and then I just was too tired to finish. Which oddly enough doesn't happen to me that much. But I was just so exhausted so I decided to abandon it and try again today. Ombre lips. I really love this side of my face. The inspo was like a tree and then there's some like twisty roots and like birds coming out of it. Kind of cool, kind of slay. I'm filming a new video later today for my birthday and that's gonna be super fun. I have some friends coming over and it will be out soon. This makeup wipe has had enough. Get the neck. I'm gonna go wash my face and change. See you next time. Hi queens, get ready with me for my birthday party. Right now it is 7 a.m. I have about an hour and a half to get ready and then I gotta leave and it's an hour drive to my party. If you don't know, I want you guys to guess how old I am. Guess. My birthday party is like a little brunchy tea party and it's on the beach. Looking good, I'm gonna go get my dress and my Claire's accessories. Okay, I'm gonna throw this dress on. Here's the fit. I'm thinking this necklace. Love that. Layering looks super cute. Also, I am in fact 21 years old. I think I want to go with this one. Yes, that matches perfectly. Trying to decide if the flower crown is cute or if it's too much. Also got these sunglasses. And are we surprised that I'm running late? I gotta go. I was supposed to leave 10 minutes ago. See you guys there. Make a Valentine's face mask. Just realized I was holding those upside down. It's been so long that I don't even know where my mold is. I have to dip into my spare. I have never once used this one, so let me know if I should. There she is. Brand new. Into the microwave we go. Let's open these puppies. Not gonna lie, I don't even remember what these taste like. Kind of like bubble gum. She's done. Ah, she's hot. I think I'm just gonna use like the pink and purple ones. It'll be prettier. Dump the water in. I like to break these in half. The magic sauce. She starts to tingle. Small cat has never experienced this before. Now we dump that in. We let it sit and then we're gonna try it. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. The heart fell out. Hi queens, we're gonna take this makeup off. I'm just dipping my little towel here in the water I used for my paint because I'm too lazy to get up and go to the bathroom to wet it. I'm setting a bad example, please don't do this. I'm usually really good about this, guys. I've just had a long day. That still came off fairly easy, though. I've decided I'm gonna enter my villain arc. I don't know if it's because of Valentine's Day coming up, but I feel like I just wanna have a major glow up. Not necessarily like I'm gonna slay a lot harder in my looks. I just mean like in general. I feel like there's always room for improvement. Like all the girlies in LA get their, their big long thick hair extensions done and honestly I might hop on the bandwagon. Or, or, or does that go against my character? I'm also gonna go downstairs and immediately do a face mask after this and drink a glass of wine. And maybe I'll sit in the bathtub with some bubbles. Literally just got this haircut but now I'm kinda like, should I do something funkier? Thanks for watching. Hi queens, get ready with me to go to a party during New York Fashion Week. I just got here last night and I just did my makeup and now we're gonna pick out an outfit. You guys are not gonna believe this, I really just made myself at home here. And I'm not gonna pretend like I own these things, I was styled. I think I'm feeling this spicy little number for today, so I'm gonna put this on. I'm also gonna pair it with this skirt, which does not go over my voluptuous hips, so I'm gonna have to put it on over my head. I didn't do my hair yet, so ignore that, but hello? Oh my god. Love. For accessories, we're gonna do these super funky, like, reflective mirror earrings. It feels so heavy. I got fingerprints on them. I'm gonna have to figure that out. And for our feetsies, we have these super cute black booty heels. Love them so much. Okay, the shoes are on. 
I'm probably like 6'2", six 6'3", six with these heels on. Y'all are always so shocked when you hear my height. I think I'm gonna do red lipstick also to finish the makeup. And probably an updo with my hair because the earrings are so much. So go to my next video to see the final look. Hi queens, I'm in New York for fashion week and I have to do my hair for a party. So our outfit has a fairly high neck and these earrings are a lot going on. So I'm thinking we need our hair out of the way. Brush out the mane. Would you guys believe that less than a year ago, I had my hair cut above my shoulders in a bob and now she be long. Oh wow. Mine's obviously not gonna be this cute, but I feel like a little braid into a low bun could be cool. So we leave out a little section in the front, which works out anyways, because I have a little bit of bangs there. Actually, I'm just gonna awkwardly secure it in the front because I am gonna try to do the like crown braid. So just giving myself an emo girl comb over and then I'm gonna start Dutch braiding it across my head and adding hair. All right, it's actually working very well. Finish off that braid. Definitely gonna go through and tug on some of those pieces to make them thicker. Fun fact about me, I actually used to do hair and makeup before social media when I was doing clients. And I did hair videos there for a little bit, but the makeup just did better. So that's kind of what I stuck with. Now put a clear elastic in there. Now I'm gonna throw the back section into kind of a messy bun. I can't see it from the back, but like neither will the photos. So I don't care that much. Add a little curl to the bayangs. And that just made my bangs a little more curtain-y. What do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty cute. Now I gotta go before I'm late. Hi queens, get ready with me for a show during New York Fashion Week. I had to leave six minutes ago. This is what we're working with. So y'all know I like to do my makeup with liquid latex, but this is just a latex top. So I guess we just like twist this around and then tie it again in the back. We're gonna do this skirt with it, it matches. Now the staple piece in the outfit is most definitely this jacket. I am obsessed with it, like are you kidding me? These tall brown boots. I put some rings on, threw these earrings in, and attempted to make my hair not look disgusting. Here is the final fit, the jacket, the boots. This is gonna look so cute, and I gotta go, I'm so late. Thanks for watching. Kitana wins. Flawless victory. Let's do it, but instead of white, we're gonna use blue. There's a few shades of blue in here that we're gonna be trying. Wait, this is gonna look cool. <gasps> Whoa. Here's the lightest shade of blue. Katana wins flawless victory looks basically the same as the white now i'm doing this teal shade katana wins i feel like you can still tell what color it is so light blue and teal now this blue right here katana wins nope not glowing and doesn't really look cute and finally the darkest blue katana wins so this is how both of these shades of blue look under the filter let me know what color you want to see me try next